Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you some meandering shapes. Shapes that roll that seem like they shouldn't. This shape is called a spherical. So the original spherical is made like this. You start off with a bicone like this. A bicone just means a cone on the bottom, a cone on the top. But then you turn it sideways and cut it in half. So you get two pieces like this. And then what you do is you turn one of the pieces 90 degrees to the other one. So as soon as you turn it 90 degrees, something interesting happens. It makes one continuous surface around the whole object. So now the shape has one continuous surface. And because of that, watch what happens when we roll it. Okay, now watch this thing roll. <laughs> The original inventor of this called it the meandering shape. Because as it rolls, it kind of looks like it's meandering, wobbling back and forth. In order to make this, you don't have to start with a bicone. You can start with different polygons as well. And when you do that, you can actually get some really interesting shapes that do different motion than just zigzag back and forth. You can actually get to roll back up on itself and then continue downward. For example, this is a design from Maker's Muse that uses a hexagon shape to make the spherical. Now what's interesting about the original Spherical is notice what it looks like. So if you just look at the ridges of it, this looks like a semicircle on one side and then at 90 degrees to it, there's another semicircle. So actually, if you just took out the material in between and just took two semicircles and put them together, you'd actually get the same motion as this Spherical. So what that means is there's a really cool way that you can make your own spherical at home just using coins. Okay, so in order to make this, you take two pennies, just cut them to the center with some wire cutters. And pound them flat and fit them together. That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> or you can try the more expensive version, the quarter version. <laughs> Look at that. What's neat about the coin design is that even on a non-slanted surface, you can get them to roll by blowing them. So the way a spherical works is basically it has only one surface. If you follow your finger around the edges, you'll find that it eventually makes its way all the way around the whole shape. So as it rolls, that surface wants to stay in contact with the ground, and as it does, it causes it to rock back and forth as it rolls. Now the same thing happens with these coins put together as well. Since I've turned them 90 degrees, you'll notice that it doesn't matter that there's no surface in the middle here, it still follows the outer surface of the coins. So basically, it's almost like a spherical because if you trace your finger around it, you'll eventually make it back to the other side. So as you can trace your finger around it, you can see how it kind of rolls the coin. And because the two coins make contact with the surface, it doesn't matter that there's no material in between there. It acts as though this were a curved surface. So this is basically like a little spherical. You can see that it actually rocks back and forth. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And you can also check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.